Hey. Check out the link in description. This is gonna give you 300 to 400 K. Why spend 20 bucks on like 100 K in Madden Mobile when you can literally get method? Check out the link in description, ultimatemmguide.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I am going to be teaching you how to get yourself the NFL MVP as well as the MVP badges for free for those who want to play free to play and not spend any money on the game. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, I'm going to explain how I'm going to do things, but to make it easy for those of you who hate listening to me talk, right on this side of the screen is going to be a list of everything that I'm going to be talking about in priority of what you need to complete. If you just screenshot this video, stop right now, leave a like and subscribe because it'll help out your boy, and follow this, you will be successful. For those who want a little bit more ex explanation and uh, you know more of a video, here we go. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The Bonanza Pack. This comes rarely throughout the day. I'm going to have have links and times for all the live events probably in my description so you guys can be there um, and be aware for that this offers you a Super Bowl badge as well as a Super Bowl first win pack which gives you one ticket for the tournaments plus a gold player so whenever this comes this is a must complete where do you find this well it's gonna be in the middle of the two blitz and legends live event now let me explain something you want 98 Tom Brady you want the MVP voucher for the 100 overall Super Bowl MVP card you cannot participate in the Legends live event, the Legends set, any of the Legends. If you do want to spend money, uh, go ahead, go for it. I probably will. You'll probably see videos of me opening stuff. But for my free-to-play homies, that is not going to be your path. Your path is going to be the rewinds. Your path is going to be the blitz. Now, let me explain something. You guys have been playing for a while. A lot of you are smarter than me when it comes to free-to-play because you probably are more free-to-play than I am. But I took some time, and I basically broke down the events. The NFL History Live events completely suck. It must be a glitch, but you only get one, one like one token to getting that badge when you complete it so do not complete the nfl history live events those are completely trash i think if you complete them all you get some sort of reward so if you have extra stamina go for it let's talk about the blitz live event every time the blitz live event refreshes you must complete it because you will get a guaranteed badge no matter what now slay do i spend my stamina on the blitz live event no do not spend your stamina because you get an average of 75 to 79 different tokens and you need and you need up to 250 to actually get a Super Bowl gold badge. The rewind events though you can complete each one once getting a first time win reward of a badge as well as 85 to 89 tokens which is much better than the blitz live event additionally even if you keep completing the rewind live events you're still getting more tokens towards a badge than if you were doing the blitz live event so you're going to want to be grinding the rewinds on the left and on the right now here's something that a lot of people don't know and this is going to help you a lot let's go to my team let's go to my items let's go to my collectibles and i'm going to show you guys a few things that's actually going to help you Let's say you let's say you enjoy the Pro Bowl promo and you were grinding hard, but things didn't work out the way you thought. Pro Bowl trophies can now be cut for one Super Bowl badge. You realize how crazy good this is. Literally, you can cut it for one Super Bowl badge. So I have all these Pro Bowl trophies that if you opened up a pack or two of the coin packs, it is extremely attainable to get yourself a Pro Bowl trophy. So actually, hold off. Don't be putting them in into the set and getting Pro Bowl players, cut them. Cut them and get 30 to 40 different Legend collectibles off the bat. Additionally, if you have snowballs, you can cut those snowballs, get Pro Bowl tokens, then get more Pro Bowl trophies, then cut the Pro Bowl trophies and get more Super Bowl Legend collectibles. This isn't widely known, but it's going to be a soup, but it's going to be super beneficial for you on your grind. So it's going to give you potentially 10 to 20 more Super Bowl gold collectibles, and that is like three to four days of grinding. So we've broken it down. You only want to play the new live events once they come out. Once new live events come out, there's always going to be a first win reward, which is probably a gold player or a badge, which you want instantly. But when you when it comes to doing repetitive live events to get more and more tokens to get the Super Bowl badges, you want to do the rewind events because those give the most tokens per event. Now let's go to sets. If we go down to sets and we go over to Super Bowl, you're going to see what's required. One Super Bowl player costs three Super Bowl badges. Once I collect that, then I'm basically going to get one Super Bowl player. It's going to be a gold. It potentially could be elite, which would be freaking dope, but odds are it's going to be gold. You then will need 20 gold players to get yourself an elite Super Bowl 
player. Now, in addition with grinding the live events as much as possible, using the live events to give you the most tokens, you also want to complete the badge exchange and, of course, the super exchange every single time it comes available. So every one hour and every four hours, you're going to get the ability to get one gold Super Bowl player and a badge exchange, which give you which gives you back your legend badge plus more tokens. These are going to be super crucial. If you can get on 10 to 11 times a day and do the Super Bowl cooldown and get yourself free badges literally doing nothing, that is going to be so beneficial. So make sure you always have one badge on the ready to put in the Super Bowl cooldown. Do it and you guys are going to get more for your buck. So let's say you went hard. You grinded out all day the live events. Let's say you probably got about 10 badges. Additionally, with those 10 badges, you put all 10 badges into the exchange. You spent 10 hours that one day. You hopped on you know, for one minute every hour, spending about 10 minutes doing this set a day. Plus any other achievements or any first time wins, you probably have about 30 to 35 to 40 of these Super Bowl badges if you grind consistently a day. Now let's say we had 30 to 40, that's going to get us 10 to 15 Super Bowl players and 20 golds gets you one elite. So potentially you could get up to 15, which is probably going to be the maximum gold players you can get in a day. If you're free to play, you probably can find more ways, but let's go ahead and just say 15. That means you really only have 12 days or 10 days of consistent grinding to actually get yourself the Super Bowl MVP or Tom Brady. Now keep in mind, two weeks, six hours. Two weeks, six hours. 12 days, this is less than half of the time that this set is going to be available. You can complete it, but you have to be consistent and you have to have good time management. Just because your buddies are paying a bunch of money to get the stuff ahead of time, do not worry. This is very reasonable. EA gave us a great opportunity and we are going to be able to get a lot of shots. Now, when you get free packs and free opportunities and free different sets and new pop-up uh, Bonanza Live events, you're going to get more and more and more, but you have to continue to invest it. All badges go into the Super Bowl cooldown ASAP. All gold players, Super Bowl cooldown ASAP. The next step is getting yourself to the Super Bowl player. Do the times three for one Super Bowl player set. If you have extra coins, open packs or snipe. That's going to be your addition if you want to get you know a little, a little step ahead of the game. Down here, like I said, the legend collectible, the legend shield, Franco Harris, you know, these are all going to be stuff that's going to be a big draw for those like whales who spend a ton of money like myself. But that is not your that's not your issue. These game plans, no. That's not what you're focusing on. You're focusing on getting yourself the Super Bowl MVP or the 98 Tom Brady for 10 elites, which is two elites less and easier to do. Again, keep in mind, of course, once you get your 12 elites, you got to get the five badges, which, you know, does require extra time spent on the game to get each individual MVP badge, which you can learn how to get on the top of the Super Bowl live event promo page. Cutting, hopefully my tips on cutting Pro Bowl tokens, uh, cutting snowballs, and how I've formulated my basically my guidelines. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Hopefully you guys get a great running start. Let me know in the comment section how far you are. Let me know if you actually get there. Come back to this video in a week or two when you do get it and let me know how the progress was. I love you all. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for the bundle giveaway and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Hey, she say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry.